Hundreds of people in the Diocese of Springfield witnessed for life locally and at the National March in Washington, D.C. to draw attention to the issue. Carolyn McGrath has our story. The fourth degree honor guard of the Knights of Columbus led the procession into St. Michael's Cathedral on a recent Sunday for the annual Culture of Life Mass. It was scheduled just a few days before the nation marked the somber anniversary of Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court decision which legalized abortion. The Massachusetts State Council of the Knights of Columbus organized the Mass and three others held across the state. It's, it's very important to send this message out of the dignity of our lives and that the dignity of life you know, comes from natural conception to natural death. It's really an important part of who we are as being Catholics. We witness to life, uh, particularly for the unborn, the preborn, and we know how life is to be cherished because it is a gift from God. The Mass kicked off a week of pro-life events in the diocese. In Northampton, the second annual Parade for Life stepped off from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish. It's great. It's very important that we take a stand for, um, for God, for what we believe in, what we know to be true, and that is the life that He has given us that is valuable and is sacred. We prayed beforehand for an hour in church, so I think that Little by little, we make a difference. On the actual anniversary of Roe v. Wade, students from Pope Francis Preparatory School led the pro-life march through downtown Springfield. The local march is sponsored by Pro-Life of Pioneer Valley. I've always been pro-life and I've been in Catholic schools my whole life, so I've kind of been taught that and I've attended like the march in Washington, D.C. and so this is a movement that I went to here last year and it's just a movement that's always been a part of my life. So um, it's not really, like a big thing for me to be here like I just feel like I should be here and like it's my duty to at least try to do something about this because I'm disgusted by the law that allows this. To me uh, respect for life means a lot more than just um, like abortion and euthanasia and the death penalty. We have people are alive on earth for a long time and vulnerable in different stages. It's important to me as a mother, as a nurse, um, I can't imagine any other way, thinking any other way that a human being is important from conception to natural death. Having had two births, a miscarriage, um, hearing that heartbeat for the first time, it's just, I can't imagine any other way. Father Ryan Rooney, the pastor of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Parish in Springfield, celebrated the Mass held right before. We have to lead with love. We have to lead with understanding and compassion. Um, and as I said in my homily, the, the, the angel comes to, to Mary and says, do not be afraid. That should really be our message overall, is this, this, um, this understanding that there, is, sh there should be no fear in bringing a child into the world, even as, as broken as this world is. While local marches were held here in western Massachusetts, hundreds of people from the diocese also took the all-night bus trip down for the National March in D.C. This year's theme was Life Empowers, Pro-Life is Pro-Woman. Teens from Pope Francis Prep, St. Mary's in Westfield, as well as teens from various parishes across the diocese made the trip to D.C. Why is this important to be here? Um, I just think that um, every every baby has the right to life, and um, uh, the number of siblings that I have, I feel like um, that each and every one of them is a gift uh, to me, so I want that to be um, widespread over the country and throughout the world. It's such a beautiful theme because as as pro-lifers, we are pro-women, and we love women, and we love their babies, and our lives are dedicated to children and to the unborn and to women who have such a tough time as, as moms and who feel like they have no other place to go. And um, there's so many places they could go. There's so many beautiful places. And these pro-lifers say they'll continue to reach out to moms with love and compassion and help them find those places and let them know there's hope. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.